When we think about eating, we tend to think of interesting food and good friends. Eating is generally a relaxing social activity. But on missions to the moon, it was a little more scientific. A lot of things affected the meals that astronauts could take on missions to the moon. From a biological standpoint, the constraints are pretty easy to understand. Meals had to be nutritious, have the right calorie density, the right nutrient balance, and they had to be readily absorbed into the astronauts' bodies. They also had to be something that the astronauts would want to eat. The practical considerations were less obvious. The food's weight and the time it would take to prepare and eat the meal were taken into consideration. The food's temperature and humidity were also factors that could affect the spacecraft. Foods on Apollo missions were freeze-dried or dehydrated, some dishes reconstituted with hot water from the spacecraft before eating. Before each mission, astronauts got to pick their favorite foods. Their choices were then assembled into roughly 2,500 calorie, nutritionally balanced meals and worked into the flight schedule. There were four different meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the mission schedule cycled through all four, so meals were repeated. And one staple throughout the entire program was bacon squares. Bacon squares were included in roughly half of every breakfast, and some lunches and some dinners. There were also spare portions of bacon cubes inside the snack pantries, so that astronauts could grab something quickly without having to dig out all of their meal packets. The bacon squares weren't the unanimous favorite among astronauts, though many did really enjoy them. Specifically, Apollo 7's Walt Cunningham and Apollo 8's Jim Lovell. Both made comments to mission control during their flights along the lines of, happiness is bacon squares in the morning. Many freeze-dried and reconstituted meals, including a lot of bacon squares, were eaten in space. Any topics you'd like to see covered in future episodes? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.